Hello YouTube, Hafidi and Mabuhay. I'm back again from the beautiful island of Guam. My name is Miss D and today we will talk about one topic that is very close to the hearts of mommies like me, how I lost my belly, belly fast. messages, DMs, PMs, or even questions in Facebook from friends and a lot of my former students was asking me how did I lose my weight after I gave birth. So finally today I'm very thankful because the weather is so good and I have the time to shoot this video. So I gave birth more than a year ago and in my experience um, it was not really hard for me to lose the weight that I gained during pregnancy. So I'm going to divide this video into two parts. One is how I lost my weight and second is how I maintained my weight loss. So before we talk about weight loss, let's talk about some background first. I came from the Philippines and I have been living here in Guam for the last two years. Now a lot of people noticed that since I got here in Guam, I lost a lot of weight. Baseline muna tayo. When I was back in the Philippines, my weight ranged from about 125 till about, I think, tag 132 ata ako. So that was around maybe like 2015, 2016. I was really like big, like bloated. 132 i look like this maybe i could put a picture right here yeah and then okay when i got here in guam my weight slowly changed and it went down to 118 before i got pregnant now during my pregnancy i gained about more than 20 pounds i think so i went up to about 140 i think like 140 142 I think was my highest and then okay when I gave birth it went back down to 118 and then now I'm down to 110 I even went down to 108 imagine so before I answer the question Miss D how did you do it paano mo yun ginawa okay I would like to talk about first what were my habits when I was back in the Philippines. So I worked as a reviewer for the last five years okay, of my life for Top Rank Review Academy and um, ang buhay reviewer, it's not very ideal in terms of nutrition okay, because first and foremost, I eat most of my meals outside. As in, as in breakfast, lunch, dinner, I have snacks in the morning, snacks in the afternoon, my after class snacks paminsan paglalabas kami kasama ng mga staff and everything so it was really like eating all the time and there was a lot of free food which was the good thing about my job wherever i went i got to sample the cuisine of the area where i teach now ang sarap sarap kumain so i didn't notice that i was really getting big Aside from that, of course, there's also the pagod and puyat factor. I was always deprived of sleep. Okay, so basically, I slept in airports, buses. So sometimes I go with like only four to six hours sleep in a night, and that also contributed to my weight gain. Another thing that caused my weight gain, I think, is that in the Philippines, I ate a lot of fast food. Like, name it. Like sometimes my breakfast will be Jollibee, my snacks will be McDonald's, my lunch will be Chow King, my snacks in the afternoon will be Greenwich. Ayun. So ganun ang aking diet no? back, when, back in the Philippines. And Ethan is contributing to my <laughs> explanation. Okay, so fast forward, I came here in Guam and all my eating habits drastically changed. I have limited to almost no fast food. Maybe maximum I have fast food like twice in a month i would say um i'm just not really like a fast food kind of person yung alam mo yun sa pilipinas song sawa ka na and then um also i cook my own meals i eat all home cooked meals and plus when i got here i got plenty sleep now don't get me wrong when i got here i eat what i want i eat what i want when i want it so again no? let's go back misty how did you lose your weight 
Ayan, so Ethan's here with me. Ayan, so I would say like when we got here, it's more of establishing a routine rather than choosing what I ate. So I got pregnant with Ethan, I ate healthy, drank my vitamins, I got my prenatal every day, and I avoided salt, which is bad because it can cause edema or pamamaga, okay, while you are pregnant. So it was... I think I gained weight pretty slow while I was pregnant and then and this is my belly when I was I think five six months you could hardly even see it I didn't try to do like diet diet so I had a healthy pregnancy but something unfortunate happened to me after I gave birth um, when I was discharged, I was rushed back to the hospital two days after because I had what they call as paralytic ileus. It means that yung my tummy, um, the intestines, it stopped moving, okay, which caused you know on me to be in the hospital for one week. And during that time, I was in NPO, which means I there was nothing. I I ate nothing, okay, as in totally dextrose lang. And then after one week, I was before I got discharged, I was shifted into a liquid diet for another week. When I got home, I was ordered a soft diet for one more week. I think that that is how I drastically lost my weight. And in two or three weeks, second or third week postpartum, I was already back to my pre-pregnancy weight. So after giving birth, losing weight wasn't really my goal because I have to stay healthy because I was still breastfeeding at that time. So I would do the usual things that I had been doing when I was pregnant. I would try to maintain my health in the first weeks after I gave birth because, you know, I was recuperating CS ako. So it was really very hard for me. Let's say sleep was a luxury if you're a first-time mom. Um, but I wake up around like 8 or 9 p.m. Okay, but when I do that, I drink coffee first and then I eat lunch at about 11 a.m. And then I eat snacks at 3, I cook dinner and we eat dinner by around 6 p.m. And I'm done eating at 7, I don't eat after that. So that is how I maintained my weight. I kept it down until I was like this. And that is about, I would say like 5 months, 3 to 5 months after I gave birth. I am back in my bikini here in the beautiful beaches of Guam. It was not until I talked to my best friend and she told me what I was doing. I was not aware of this until she told me about it and she said it's called intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting means that you eat what you want with a limited number of time. I looked it up okay, and I found out that intermittent fasting was actually an eating pattern that cycles between periods of eating and fasting. Masyad, ano to? A lot of people knows about this in the fitness community. It is not actually about what you eat, but when you eat them. It is not going on a quote-unquote diet, but establishing, rather establishing an eating pattern. Matagal na to, it's not new to us. From the ancient times, you know, for the hunters and everyone, there's no refrigerators. They don't have food whenever they want. So people back then are actually used to starving. <laughs> no, um, they don't eat like as often as we do nowadays. Okay, and a lot of um, religions. Okay, also practice this, such as Christianity, Islam, Judaism, Buddhism. Also practice the fasting. There are different forms of this kind of fasting. One of them is the 16 is to 8, meaning that you're going to eat for 8 hours and then you're going to fast for 16 hours. So I didn't realize that that is actually what I was adapting because um, I would eat lunch at around 11, as I mentioned earlier, and then by around 6 o'clock, I'm done eating dinner and I don't eat after that. So that's around 7 to 8 hours of eating time and then I won't eat from around 6 or 7 p.m. all the way to 11 a.m. the following day. And then when I read on it, yung pala yung dahilan kung bakit ako nakalose ng weight and kung paano ko siya na-maintain because it actually speeds up your metabolism. That's why whatever you eat, and don't get me wrong, I eat a lot. I eat what I want. On the, you know, maybe na, 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 
set lang siguro yung katawan ko na yun lang yung time na kakain ako. But when I eat, like I eat what I want. So I get to enjoy my meals. I get to enjoy my food really well. Yun. So that is how I lost my weight and how I maintained it. You can read more about it. It's called intermittent fasting. Okay. And um, I hope that you picked up something from this video. It's just a quick advice for all of you mommies. Remember, like reducing the amount of food that you eat is not really ideal spe specifically if you're breastfeeding so you have to stay healthy and I'm, I'm saying that this kind of diet is not for everybody but if you do want to look into it there is some scientific evidence behind it so you might want to check it out all right so thank you guys for being with me again today as always, thank you for all the love and support. Please do hit the thumbs up button and do subscribe to our channel, my channel, and my son's channel, Ethan from Guam. We will see you in our next video. Bye! Ethan, say bye!